So the second stage of labour, this is when things start to get a bit exciting because you know that very soon you're going to be meeting your baby. The second stage of labour means that all of your cervix has gone and you're pushing. So every time that you get a contraction, you'll feel that urge to push and you will naturally bear down. Now there are two different ways that we push because depending on whether you've had some pain relief or not will make it slightly different. So let's talk about if you don't have an epidural and you are able to move around and push your baby out. If this is the case, every single time that you have that surge and your baby is pushing down on your pelvic floor, you will feel the urge to push. You don't need anyone coaching you how to do this because your body naturally knows what to do. We have something amazing called the fetal ejection reflex and this helps us to push our babies out without anyone telling us what to do. We can do this. So every time you have that surge and you have that pressure, go with your body. You might want to breathe your baby down. You can probably give a bit of a push as well, but we don't need to tell you what to do because you will already know what to do. So just go with your urges and every time it comes, just push with it. If you have an epidural on the other hand, this will make this slightly different because now you're not going to feel that sensation to push um, because it's quite a heavy block sometimes. So this is when you will have more of the medical staff helping you to push your baby out. So what does this look like? When you're getting a contraction, the midwives will let you know and they'll tell you to take a really deep breath in. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and you're going to hold your breath so that none of that breath comes out. And what we want is for that breath to push down into your bottom because that's where your baby's going to be coming out of. So if you imagine that you're really constipated and you haven't been to the toilet for a really long time, that's pretty much what it's like to birth your baby. So take a deep breath in and you're gonna hold your breath in your mouth, in your nose, don't blow out. So no noise will come as you push down into your bottom. Now sometimes some mums will be able to breathe and that's great if you can. Obviously if you can take a deep breath in and blow into your bottom as you're pushing, and it works effectively, then that's great. But we've found that typically in hospitals, what they will tell you to do is hold that breath in. So you're gonna be taking a deep breath in and pushing, and when you're really out of breath, take another deep breath in and pushing again, and you're going to aim for three pushes with every contraction. In between the contractions, you need to rest. So have some water, grab a quick breath, make sure you're breathing nice deep breaths, lots of water, snacks, anything that you need to give you that big boost of energy again. And when the contraction comes back again, repeat that process. Deep breath in and push. So you're gonna hold that breath and push into your bottom. The other thing which you can do to make that easier is if you grab the tip behind your thighs and pull them up towards you, then that can just help you focus that push a little bit better into your bottom and can make it a little bit more effective.